Hello, my name is Paul Karf. I am a senior developer advocate at Google and I work on the Google TV team. One of the most frequently asked questions that we hear during a weekly Google TV Hangouts or at various events that we attend is how do I set up my development environment to work with Google TV? So I've pulled together this screencast to walk you through the process. Everything that I'm going to discuss is available at these two sites. The first is a developer site maintained by the Google TV Developer Relations team. The second is the Android developer site. Remember that Google TV is an Android platform, so most of what you learn and use for Android is relevant for Google TV. If, after viewing the screencast, you find yourself with further questions, in addition to visiting the two sites noted above, you can check us out on Stack Overflow and we follow the Google-TV tag, as well as our Google Plus page. I'm assuming that you already have your development environment configured and ready to go. There are a number of options available, so I'm not going to cover that here. If you have yet to set up your environment, you should do that first. You can find the details at the Android site, developer.android.com SDK. There are four set steps to set up your development environment for TV. The first is you need to get the IP address of your development machine. And to demonstrate that, if we go to our terminal on your development environment, and I'm happen to be using a Mac here, and if I just type in if config, I will see the network connections that I have on my laptop here. Uh, one of the most common issues that comes up that I want to discuss and highlight here is the fact that you'll see two IP addresses here. There's one for my Wi-Fi connection and one for my Ethernet connection. I happen to be connected to both. Uh, is the most common issue that comes up that uh, when setting up your environment is that you have this situation and you put in the wrong IP address on your Google TV when setting it up. So my recommendation is to pick one of these and turn off the other. Uh, so in my case, I like to use my Ethernet connection here. So I'm going to remember this uh, 192.168.1.3 IP address and I will turn off my Wi-Fi. After setting up your getting the IP address of your development environment, you need to go into Google TV and get the IP address of your Google TV device. Okay, so I'm on my Google TV device now, and all I want to do is click the Home button, and that brings up the menu down here that uh, I hit the Options button, and I'm going to go to System Settings. I'm going to go to Network, and I'm going to go to Network Status. And from here, I can get the IP address of my Google TV, and you're going to want to write that down. And in my case here, it's 192.168.1.8. Now that you have the IP address of your Google TV device, we're going to put your Google TV device into development mode and set it up to accept input from your development environment. We are going to go back to settings and go down to applications and first you're going to want to enable uh, installing uh, applications from non-market applications since you're developing those and then you're going to go down to development you're going to turn on remote debugging and then you're going to put in debugger IP address and you're going to enter the debugger IP address of, of the IP address of your development environment and so again for us that was 192.168.1.3 and I set that and once we set this up your Google TV device now is ready to accept input from that development environment machine and allow you to install apps so the last step is now to connect your development environment to your actual Google TV and the way that we're going to do that is to simply go to your terminal and you're going to do ADB connect and type in the IP address of the Google TV itself. In my case here is 192.168.1.8 and you should see the connected to that IP address on port 5555. That's the default port for ADB. And to check the status of your devices, which ones are connected, you do ADB devices and you can see that the list of devices attached is this. And at this point you should be connected and if you go into Eclipse or your development environment and you compile your Android application 
uh, what should happen in Eclipse, uh, for example, will be that this device comes up as a list of devices that you can push your your application to, and you would select that, and off you go. I hope this screencast was helpful for you, and if you have any questions uh, and, and look up for, need more information, please don't hesitate to go to developers.google.com/tv.